Late at night and police in protective gear move into a mosque in London. They were called after an envelope containing white powder and an offensive message was sent, prompting a security alert. At a different mosque in another part of London, there's lots to talk about. The centre was also targeted, with staff receiving another envelope also filled with white powder and a message. I just couldn't understand why people would do that. This is not right, uh, because we live in this country, we, we are all human beings, be it Muslim or non-Muslim or East European, we are all human beings. In both cases, the powder turned out to be non-hazardous, but a counter-terror investigation is underway, and it's feared what happened at the centres in London could be part of a wider problem. Police say there's been a big rise in the number of hate crimes and incidents being reported in the past few weeks. And in the last two weeks of June, that jump was 42% up on the same period last year. Days after Britain voted to leave the European Union, a Polish cultural centre was daubed in racist graffiti. And a taxi driver was told to go back to where he came from, even though he was actually born here. And this week, a Polish family living in southwest England was targeted and a threatening letter left, which a 14-year-old member of the family opened. The letter, which was an unused envelope, um, had a pieces of newspapers cut out and stick together and it said um, that we should go back to our country or the family will be next. On a local level and national level, police say the rise in hate crime is unacceptable. To commit a crime against someone just because of their nationality, just because of the colour of the skin, their faith or any of the other characteristics that um, create us as different um, is probably the most um, horrendous sort of crime that you can commit because the motivation isn't a financial one, it's one of uh, pure hate. Back in London, Yusuf Hansa inspects the building work at the Noor Al Islam Centre, which is used by thousands of people across the community. Yusuf maintains that Britain is the most tolerant nation in the world. The past few weeks, though, have exposed fractures. Many had hoped the UK had said goodbye to. Emma Hayward, Al Jazeera, in London.